To COVID, California's test positivity rate is now at 1.2%, and that is the lowest it's been since last June. And there is news from Moderna saying its vaccine works on babies, toddlers, and preschoolers. KPI X5's is Jocelyn Moran looks at the data and what Bay Area experts are saying. When it comes to how effective the vaccine is at preventing symptomatic infection, health experts say many hoped it would be higher. But there are important points for parents to note. This is a press release from the company. No one's seen the data. In a press release today, Moderna says their vaccine was about 44% effective in six month to two year olds at preventing symptomatic illness. For the two to under six years age group, it was 37.5%. The children that got the vaccines, depending upon the group, 37 to 44 percent didn't get sick. So that's that's much better than nothing. I'd still like to see 80, 90, 100 percent, but uh, we're not going to probably see that. That's where I think a third jab is going to probably be necessary. The vaccine is a two dose series, 25 micrograms each given four weeks apart. That's a quarter of the adult dose. Moderna says they're preparing to evaluate the potential of a booster dose for all pediatric populations. But important to know to the trials were going on during the Omicron wave. This was in the Omicron era where our antibodies don't actually work as well with two doses in the Omicron era. Dr. John Swartzberg with UC Berkeley Public Health and infectious disease doctor with UCSF, Dr. Monica Gandhi, say an important good takeaway was that the vaccine appears to be safe. And although the efficacy of the vaccine doesn't appear to be as high as many would have liked it to be, Gandhi says this is exciting news. In this study, the primary endpoint was having good enough neutralizing antibodies that looked like it would fight the virus, so-called immunogenicity, and they saw across all age range good immunogenicity with that regimen. Now, Moderna in its press release also said that they have initiated a submission to the FDA for emergency use authorization of its vaccine for the age group of 6 to under 12. In the newsroom, I'm Jocelyn Moran, KPIX 5.